Uh, Greg Kemble here. I teach English at Yuba College. And for this uh, Canvas crawl thing, uh, I want to show you a couple things I do near the beginning of the semester to, um, as they say, humanize my course. Now, by humanize my course, I mainly mean that I want to let students know I'm an actual human, that I want to connect with them to support them on this journey. I want them to feel welcome, to understand that they belong here. And especially for uh, those who are new, whether to college or just to online classes, I want to give them information as they need it about how the class works. Uh, so I'm going to show you two things, my uh, sort of liquid syllabus <laughs> and some of the videos I've made to let them see me and to welcome them and orient them to the course. And before the class starts, I send an email to all registered students. It starts with a quick welcome, a link to my syllabus. We'll come back to that in a moment. And then answers to questions that I often get from students as the semester approaches. I try to keep a balance between being supportive and real. I want them to feel welcome, but I also want them to have a realistic sense about the demands of the course. Above all, I want them to feel supported, so I offer some resources that might help. Uh, there's some online training that the school offers, uh, and I point them to the resources section of the syllabus. Now, as I said, the syllabus is more or less what is called a liquid syllabus. Now, I don't know why it's called that, um, but as I understand it, a liquid syllabus is housed on a website uh, outside the learning management system, the LMS, in our case Canvas, uh, so that it's more accessible. Now, I don't want to open Canvas before the semester starts, but I do want students to have access to the syllabus. And of course, students on the wait list don't have access to Canvas even after the semester starts. Now, another characteristic of a liquid syllabus is that it's easier to navigate. I've got mine broken up into five sections. It's much easier to get around, at least I think so, <laughs> than the syllabus section in Canvas. Now, there's still some room for improvement. For one thing, I think that liquid syllabuses usually include a welcome video. I changed my course fairly radically a couple semesters ago, so I've not done that yet. I'm still sorting out too many things. I don't want to reshoot a video every semester, uh, but I'll probably, uh, I'll probably be able to have a video next semester. Also, a couple of my sections have gotten kind of long, which is a problem. I mean, the point of breaking it up into sections is precisely so that the sections won't be so overwhelming, uh, but you can only do so much at one time. Yeah, so that's the liquid syllabus. Once the semester opens, students get access to Canvas, and when they log into my class for the first week and a half or so, they see this page uh, with this short welcome video front and center. The idea is to let them see me. As I said, part of humanizing is seeing that the instructor is a person. So I'll play just a few seconds to give you an idea. My name is Greg Kemble. I'm the instructor for this English 1A course. I just thought I'd introduce myself, say hi, uh, maybe explain a little about the course. So yeah, um, let me start with a quick tour of the course's homepage in Canvas. Okay, so here we are on the course homepage. Okay, that's enough for now. Uh, I'll put a link to the video and a few other videos I've made uh, somewhere in the More Mentor Insights section. So yeah, that video is meant to let them see who I am, uh, to make them feel welcome. But I also use video to orient them to the course, to give them instructions when they need them for how to do things. For example, uh, early in the course, I have this video, How to Navigate the Course. It covers things they need early on, uh, how to set up notifications for announcements, for example, and the importance of working through the modules a step at a time, not just jumping straight to the assignments and trying to do the work without any context. I will say there's a bit of a catch-22 there, uh, as students who need to see that information are just jumping straight to the assignments so they don't watch the video. Uh, so I'm working on ideas for intervening there. But as I said, I want to give them instructions when they need them, 
when the information is useful. Uh, I don't want to just front load everything and hope they remember. So, for example, when it's time to post their first discussion thread, I have this video that explains what a discussion group assignment is, how to understand the due dates, the instructions, uh, and so on. And then in each discussion group assignment moving forward, I include a link back to this page with this video under resources, uh, just in case they need a reminder. And I do that type of thing throughout the course. When it's time to turn in an essay, I have a video that walks them through that process. When it's time to retrieve their assignments with my feedback, I have a video that walks them through that process, and so on. Okay, there we go. Uh, those are a few things I do to humanize my course. I still have a ways to go. I've got some instruction and writing that would probably be better on video, for example. Uh, but as you all know, there's only so many hours in a day. Uh, it's important to prioritize what you can do and iterate as you're able. Uh, yeah, I wanted to say um, I'm not one of the gold tier members, but I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. So feel free to contact me. Yeah, all right. See you around.